Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video I want to talk to you about wrapping up 2016. Holy cow, it's over, it's in the bag and what the hell, where did it go? It seems like the older I get, the shorter these years keep getting and uh, I don't know, I used to hear that term or that, that saying when I was a younger kid and older fellas telling me, hey, you'll see when you get older how fast these years go and like, I just, I can't believe it anymore. But so what I'm here to do is tell you and uh, wrap up with you 2016. I want to talk to you about what we've learned and you know what's going on here at the shop and um, discuss it. So here we go. Um, it looks like 2016 was a cool year for us. I mean, we had some great builds. And if you go back to my uh, build a buck section on my website, you see some of the real quality builds that we did. Uh, we just wrapped up um, a good client, uh, Joe, uh, his 1954 Ragtop Beetle. If you see that car, man, that car is stellar. Um, so our builds have been great. Sales in, in, in general, I think in the collector car market, um, and it was even like reported even back in January of this year, early this year, when uh, Barrett Jackson launched in January, uh, they saw a leveling off of prices of collector cars. Um, now, a lot of analysts will throw at you why they think there's a dip, uh, they, whether it's interest rates or fear of the market or interest of, of um, you know, interest in certain cars and certain uh, items have diminished. Uh, but if you definitely look in the Porsche realm, which was skyrocketing and it looks like it hit its peak in 2015, has kind of leveled off. Uh, same along with the Type 2 buses. If you see, a lot of buses were definitely into the well, well into the six-figure mark, mid six figures, even $200,000. Uh, some Type 2 buses were going for with the big rag tops and all the windows. Uh, but that's definitely leveled off as well. Um, and I, I got to say, yeah, I mean, sales in general have been a little slower uh, in 2016. Analysts, like I said, will throw at you many different scenarios. I'll give you my scenario, what I think it was. Um, I think, number one, in America, it definitely because we had an election year. Uh, because we had uh, Trump and Hillary going at each other, uh, that was giving people an, an, un an uneasiness because they were two very unpopular people. Uh, so on both ends, people were just like, I don't know who's going to get in, and I'm afraid who's going to get in. So maybe now that the election's over... That'll kind of settle down, and then in 2017, we'll start to see things rise again. Is it a detrimental drop in the car market? Hell no. I mean, just like, uh, you know, having your money in the stock market or having your money in retirement savings, things like that, things do fluctuate up and down. And um, like my good friend Lucky Larry always says, when you've got your money in a classic car, it's like money in the bank. Um, you, at least you can feel it, you can touch it, you can drive it, you can smell it and have fun with the car and at the same time a classic car will always go up in value. Uh, yeah, you'll see dips you know, here and there, but in general as the older they get, they, the interest will still uh, be there to, to, to put money into them. So uh, some cars like I saw on bringatrailer.com, if you ever watch bringatrailer.com, uh, that's a great website. Um, if you go there, I mean, I just saw Fiat Jolly end yesterday for over $45,000. So, I mean, I think some cars are still pretty strong. I even heard in the art market, uh, you know, some paintings that went for $100,000 last year would maybe only go for $20,000 this year. So, a little bit of a leveling off. I also think one other thing I'm going to throw out there as far as maybe uh, diminished interest or value is, you know, there's a lot of shows on TV now with cars, especially on the Velocity channel. You have the, you know, uh, uh, Bitchin' Rides and, and you got um, Chasing Classic Cars, Wheeler Dealers, you know, things like that. When those shows first came out, it was fresh. It was new to people and they loved tuning in. Now, I think the market is very saturated with those shows. There's so many of them now. And uh, like anything else, like the human condition is, we lose interest after a while. So, um, I don't think it's a big deal. I think eventually it'll start to go back up. Things will start to look better. Um, and, and in general, I wouldn't say pulling out of the collector car market is, is a wise thing to do. Just like they say, to, if you have a retirement savings, you just keep the money in there and it'll eventually, you know, uh, it'll go up. So that's my take on that. Uh, another take uh, I'm going to tell you about in 2016, which I noticed, is parts. Quality of parts. Man, I got to say, it's just... That's what's scaring me, that the quality of parts just seems to be getting worse and worse. I can get the same part a year ago from the same supplier and get one this year and it's weaker, it's, it's, it's thinner, it's scratched. I mean, I'm getting parts that have imperfections on them and they're supposed to be new. Uh, we just bought a new set of uh, window winder uh, cranks for that 62 Beetle in the back over there. And sure enough, we mounted those, we put the pin in with the escutcheon and just going up with the window was bending the winder twisting it and then it eventually just broke off both of them 
So I was able, even if I had it in my hand, I was able to twist them. I mean, that's a very strong piece. If you ever have the old school window winders from, you know, the, the, the 60s uh, Beatles, they're tough. You can't, you can't break them by hand. That's hard. Uh, but now you can literally twist it and it would just disintegrate. So just something like that's crazy. I, I, you know, that's what's scaring me. So the interest in NOS original stuff is probably still going to be very desirable and very sought after. So uh, when it comes to restoring your beetle, the, the, the most you can save off that original beetle uh, is best. Uh, so even stuff that says so-called German replicate or OEM, I'm getting that stuff in and it's just, it's just garbage. I don't know. So, uh, but uh, again, as far as our build a bug program, I'm still at a two year wait. Uh, we still got work coming in with that. Yes, yeah, sales have dipped just a bit or the prices have come down a bit, but overall that's expected. Um, these markets do fluctuate from here and there, but um, thankfully I still got uh, a ton of work and um, there's still an interest in the VW hobby. So, um, but that's it guys. Uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year to everybody. Uh, I hope you all had a great 2016 and look forward to 2017. And um, and that's it, guys. So if you guys have any questions, um, if, if there's anything in 2017 you want to see new out of me, let me know. Uh, I'm always open to your suggestions and leave a comment below in the video and uh, we go from there. So, all right, guys. Again, happy holidays. Take care. Um.